Deeper and Glam family. Today we are doing a fall home tour. My fall home tour has become our Thanksgiving special. So after the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, you can watch the Deeper and Glam home tour. <laughs> I have been trying my fury to get this home tour up for you, but you know, we have had so much fresh glam to get out in this season. It has, uh, it has been pushed all the way to Thanksgiving, but you know what? I'm thankful we're doing it today. So, better late than never, let's take a little tour of my fall home decor, including my pumpkin garden here. Here is my entryway. Here's Miss Audrey Hepburn and a little rose curl pumpkin here. This is a new pumpkin for this year. I got it at Hobby Lobby. I think I forgot to put it in my fall home decor haul, but you guys are seeing it now. Here is my fall wreath. I got this from Pier 1. They still have them. Maybe you can get it on sale now that fall is over. I love that it, it lights up and it looks very beautiful at night. Here is going into the office. Here's my Chanel print. Doesn't it look like just glam so hard? <laughs> Took me a while to find just the right print that made me get in the mood to work. And of course, don't mind my filming light there. Here's my office if you haven't come over before. Here's the library that you see in the background of so many of my videos. And I'm just gonna be highlighting the fall decor here. Look at this sparkly pumpkin. How fun is she? I got it at Joann's last year. Up here I have another pink pumpkin with my glasses. And let's see, here's my desk. We are getting ready to launch the God and Glam Bible study. So I have that there. Some very pink roses here and just a diptyque candle and my planner of course in the middle of editing some pictures and the sun is streaming in over here so we don't have the best lighting but that's all right over here is some pumpkins look how cute that little black and white jar of pumpkins are and then this is all the books i've read this year i want to review them add them to goodreads but for now they're just right there with my pictures of my mommy and daisy and of course my monet here is the main living area of my house. I've been working right here. We have all our 2018 book club books on, on what is my dining room table and also the Team Glam desk because this is Glam HQ and it is, uh, of course, my home. So over here we have, of course, the little lounge area, have some pillows. Both of these are from Pier 1 and this blanket, this very Glam Fall blanket from Wayfair. You guys saw that in my home decor haul. I have a turkey pillow over here. Hold it out of the light so you can see it a little better. How Glam Thanksgiving is that turkey pillow? Isn't she pretty? have a sweet cinnamon pumpkin candle burning and some November berry roses. Thought those were very harvest floral. And then a white beaded pumpkin pillow over here. That is also from Pier 1 a couple years back. Okay, let's get to this pumpkin garden. How cute is this whole filming setup? I really have been wanting to do a seasonal backdrop for a long time. And here is an overview. I'm gonna go over all the little pumpkins we have here. Of course, we have some orange roses that are a little bit on their last leg, and then those sweater pumpkins here and here are from Target. I got those this year. And the sparkly orange and white pumpkins are from Z Gallery. The plain white ceramic pumpkins are also from Z Gallery. I got this light up pumpkin, teal pumpkin from Pier 1 a couple years ago. I got it on clearance. Most of my stuff comes from clearance after, after the season. I'm like, hey, Thanksgiving and fall is coming back around, you know? And then I got th these little pumpkins from Hobby Lobby and same with the leaves. These glitter pumpkins are from Target. I also saw they had them at Pier 1. Then there's the fall sign. You guys saw, saw that in my fall shopping vlog. This Cinderella candle, pumpkin candle, doesn't it look like Cinderella's carriage? Maybe that's just me, is from Pier 1 also. I just really like Pier 1 and they really like me because they sent me these beautiful twinkle lights. <laughs> this is not, I'm not affiliated with paper, but with, with Pier 1. I am affiliated with Paper and Glam, but not Pier 1. I just happen to love it, and they just do seasonal seasonal living very well. <laughs> and yeah, let's see. This pumpkin, I also got up here one. I think it's actually really sparkly. It kind of sparkles different colors, but it's not wanting to show on camera. And yeah, isn't my pumpkin scape fun? I'm excited to, to devise a cute Christmas one for the background of the Christmas videos, too. 
Moving into the kitchen. I have a Let's Stay Home candle. This has been one of my favorite fall candles. It is pumpkin, vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. I got some wine here. And you know, from Napa I have to have a little, a little wine to acknowledge my roots here. And those pumpkin salt and pepper shakers you guys will remember from my Pier 1 haul in that same fall shopping video. My Kate Spade teapot, which we recently turned into stickers if you have seen our winter tea time stickers. And then I have some fall, fall towels here. Oh, I didn't straighten these, but you guys get the idea. How cute are those fall leaves? And then I have a fall apron for all that fall baking. Here I have a fall cookbook that I also showed you in my home decor haul. It is from Hobby Lobby and it has so many fun themed fall recipes. Like this chapter is called Off the Pumpkin Patch. And then a <coughs> loaf pan for making pumpkin bread. And my pumpkin bread mix, some pumpkin soup, and mulling spices and some ginger because it's so good for you and I like to put it in my protein shakes. I have pumpkin spice dish soap because what makes doing dishes more fun than pumpkin spice dish soap, right? Seasonal everything, seasonal all the things. Then I have a seasonal bar cart over here with some ginger beer from Moscow Mules and a couple bottles of red wine. And then in this glass, I'll show you guys these really quick because they're fun. I got my mom and I these little wine glass markers. They're also from Pier One, and they're pumpkin wine glass markers that make your wine glass light up. Aren't those so fun for fall and glamoween? Moving over to this little baking station, I put some fall candy corn here, pumpkins and whatnot, and then some pumpkin gummy candy. I made a fall coffee station here with some pumpkin coffee syrup, my favorite pumpkin mug, and then if we open this cabinet, I have fall mugs. Last bag of fall coffee. It's the pumpkin pie one. I'm gonna take it to Napa this weekend. Moving into my room, I'll show you the fun fall things I have in my bathroom first. Glamorous, but I do have a pumpkin loofah. There's a little gold pumpkin here and in this vintage candy dish, I keep my half, half used bath bombs, so, or bubble bars. So there's my black cat from Halloween that I've been using. In the sink I have some more pink roses. They're actually a kind of November berry color, but they're looking very bright in this light. And then I have some pumpkin soap, some sweet pumpkin soap. And that is all the fall things in the bathroom. Here is my fall room. I like to keep things simple in here. And I have some all kinds of different lush bath bombs. I usually like to take out the summer ones, but I thought it looked cute to have kind of like a lush zoo. And then there's a little pink pumpkin that I got in Georgetown in Colorado. It's like on the way up the 70. I have my glam slippers. How cute are those? I just got those from Nordstrom. So fun, right? I obviously had to have them. <laughs> and I have a pumpkin pillow here. It's several years old from when I used to work at Z Gallery. Here I have a little gold pumpkin on the little console table where I keep TV type things, seasonal DVDs, classics. And I have a harvest pillow here from Hobby Lobby. I love how it matches my gold bedding. That's from PB Teen, but I don't think you have to be a teenager to have polka dot bedding. You know, I am 19, you guys. <laughs> and let's see, I have an autumn candle burning here, one of my favorite candles. I always burn it in my room. Then Living the Christian Year, which is the book we're reading for the God and Glam Bible study, and then some fall floral here. but not least, Sunday does seasonal living too. So you see she has her pumpkin spice latte here. How cute is this? Courtesy of BarkBox. So I'll put my link below if you're curious about these seasonal dog toys, because I think you get a free BarkBox and I get a free BarkBox, and that's fun, or Sunday does, I don't. And then here's Sunday's little apple picking cart. Isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen? You know, of course Sunday has to be in on the fun too. And that was our fall home tour. I hope it was fun and I hope it inspired you and gave you some ideas for decorating your own home regardless of what season you're decorating for. I am so excited to decorate for Christmas 
and I know you are too. So whether you live in an apartment or a smaller space or you have more space than I do, you know, it really just takes a few few seasonal touches to give your home that cozy feel of fall or that that glitter and Christmas sparkle or whatever season we're in. So I do have a whole playlist of home tours that I think spans four apartments now. So if if you want to see some more fun home tours, I will link that below. We also have lots of other fun, fun glammy things happening. We had we just launched the 2018 Paper and Glam Book Club last Sunday. This Sunday we're launching the God and Glam Bible Study for the first time. So I would love for you guys to join me for that. And yeah, lots of lots of Christmas stuff to come. So I hope you guys have the most amazing Thanksgiving, you eat all the turkey, and you are excited to plan for a glam new year. If this was fun, please remember to subscribe, and I will see you again soon. Thanks for spending a piece of your day with me.